Okay, so today's workout um, is going to be um, a combination of timed um, exercises and then exercises that we count for reps. Um, and also the focus is gonna kind of be on what I call asymmetric exercises, things that we work one side and then, and then another. Uh, you know, it's, it's not so complicated once we get into it. Reach up those arms. Let's have both hands going up, following your hands with your eyes so you've got a little twist going. Reach it out shoulder high. Again, keep following your hands with your eyes. Press it down. And I'm just stepping side to side the whole time I'm doing this. Just gonna switch the camera, keep doing that. All right, let's switch to doing um, tap it and curl it with just a, a light, I call it a row with my hands, not sure that's what it is, but I'm tapping and curling, tapping and curling, Spend, paying special attention to that heel coming up to your bottom and uh, thigh is pointing, you know, is vertical. Five more, four, you should be feeling a nice stretch here in your thigh. Last one, let's switch sides. Tap it and curl it. Tap it and curl it. And again, just trying to warm up, warm up the quads with this move. Five, four, three, two, now we're gonna really increase the intensity, reach and pull, squeezing those shoulder blades together at the top of the move. Heels are still going to your bottom. For five, four, three, two, last one. All right, let's switch to some heel taps. 10 soldier arms. We're gonna move this into a low kick. And again, just kind of doing the opposite. Now we're trying to warm up the hamstrings, the back of the thighs. As you can, bring the kick up a little bit higher. Red flag is if you feel it in your back, that means the kick goes low again. And this, you're just limited by the flexibility of your hamstrings and your glutes with this move. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, let's do some knee circles. Nice big movement in the hips. Three more, two, last one, this side. Two more. All right, let's do some, I'm just gonna march in place to try to keep going with that cardio warm up while I'm trying to warm up the joints. We're doing arm circles, making the circles a little bit bigger. Goes the dog, really big. And now, Let's swim it. Arm circles, opposite direction. What is the opposite direction here? Start making the circles bigger. Really big. stroke. A couple more.
more with the, the shoulder warm up. Um, arms are straight out in front of you, little circles. Keep the marching going. Switch direction of the circles. Last of the arm warm or shoulder warm ups, little circles overhead. Switch direction. Your shoulders are probably feeling pretty warm right about now. I know mine are. We're almost there. All right. That's enough of those. Good. Everything should be feeling pretty warm. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot to do a little bit of warm up with the spine. Let's just do some side bends. Two more per side. Good, okay, so we'll get right into it. Um, so the format is going to be an exercise that we're doing fairly quickly for one minute, followed by an exercise that we do on one side and then another 15 reps. And um, the second exercise is probably gonna be done at a much slower rate than the exercise that we're doing for one minute. The tricky thing about this workout is that we are largely using the same muscle group one after another. So you're gonna do something for a minute followed by 15 reps. You know, that, that gets to be difficult, but then we move on to a totally different muscle group. I've got eight exercises in a row. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe you wanna to take a little water break at the end of that, and then we're gonna go back and, and do a second round. Um, and then we'll transition to the floor for the uh, uh, second group of exercises. For this first group of exercises, you're going to need whatever dumbbells you have available. Um, we are going to be doing toe taps, and you want a target to tap at. I use this little box. If you've got a ball, that's great. Um, uh, preferably something that's light, something that's going to move around. Um, you know, if it's stationary and heavy, it kind of defeats some of the, it's an agility move and it defeats some of the purpose of that. Uh, and I think that's about it. All right. So let me just preview these moves real quick. Um, at least the first two. We're going to do squats to our toes. So you're going to go down into a full squat up to your toes. Ooh, that was a bad one. Okay, as many of those as we can in a minute, we'll get a lot done. From that, we're going to go to a curtsy squat. So that's where we cross this leg and back. That's not right. Let me think about this for a second. We're crossing the leg and back, squatting down. Okay, let me get you a little close up on my, my legs. If you don't like this, then I want you doing a reverse lunge, just you don't have to do the crossover and back, okay? All right, let's get ready. One minute, non-stop, followed by 15 reps of curtsy squats. We're gonna do 15 on one side, 15 on the other. On your mark, get set. Let's go with squat down, up on your toes. Clock's running, let's go. We're trying to get as many of these in a minute as we can. It's gonna be a big number. Remember when you do squats, knees are always behind the toes and you stand all the way up. And this time preferably up onto your toes. I bring my hands out as a counterbalance. That is not necessary. I just find it makes it easier. All right, more than halfway there. Woo! Keep the tempo up. It's not a fast paced move, but certainly getting my heart rate going. Five more. Time. All right, <clears throat> curtsy lunges, 15 per side. 
in the tempo of these. Much slower. Take it back. There's one. Two. Knee is always behind the toe of these. Three. Four. Five. Six. Quads are probably burning. Seven. If you don't like this one, go straight back. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Nice job, other side. One. Two, as you go down, chest is still forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, okay, time to do some upper body. First move, it's gonna be runner's arms. You can hold on to some light weights while you do this, or no weights at all. And then it's gonna be followed by um, single arm bent over row. Um, and the point of doing this single arm is to challenge your core to keep everything level. So I don't want any weight in this hand. And you're just gonna be rowing it up to your side. You can keep the hand on your waist. The key is everything's level. Hips stay level, shoulders stay level as you do the exercise. All right. Let's get ready for one minute of runner's arms. On your mark, get set, let's go. Let's go, pull those elbows back. That's the move. We're running. If you've got weights in your hands, like I do, your runner's arms aren't gonna be quite as quick. If you've got no weight, oh, I really want you to be cooking. Let's press that chest slightly forward as if we are running a race. <laughs> Let's go. 30 seconds down, shoulders are in there. Neutral position, natural position, not elevated not going towards your ears. Keep going, pulling those elbows back. Let's pick up the tempo, 15 seconds to go. 10, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Single arm bent over row. Get yourself bent over, using a heavy weight if you've got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep everything level. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Switch sides, and here we go. One, two, three, four. Don't let the side with the weight drop. Six, seven, eight. The only thing that's moving is your arm. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice job. Next move, toe taps. Gonna get our trusty little target out. And uh, second move. Well, all right, toe taps just to review. Toe taps, tapping the box, you're nice and light on your feet. Trying to keep your target in one place. This is followed by um, split squat with an overhead hold. 
weights overhead, get in your split squat or your split stance. Oh, I just want to show everything here. Not tripping over the box. So here I am in my split stance and I'm just rolling that back leg underneath. Looks a lot like a static lunge. Okay, that's our second move. 15 on one side, 15 on the other. The weight overhead, if that's uncomfortable for your shoulders, you can also just keep it here. Um, but I do want you to be hanging on to some weight, again, to work that asymmetric um, issue. Okay, toe taps. One minute here. Lots of control as you do this, okay? Sorry. On your mark, get set. Let's go. Whoops. Here we go. Clock's running. And remember, you're trying to do this quickly, but mostly you're trying to have nice accuracy as you do it. If the hopping up and down doesn't work for you, then just tap it at a walk. That's fine too. If you can add that hop, it just adds a element of difficulty. Let's pick it up. Try and raise your eyes up off your target. Use your peripheral vision to keep track of it if you can. Twenty seconds to go here. 15, faster, five, fine, uh, split squat, arm is overhead, you're in your split stance, and take it down for one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, Whew. other side, switch which side is holding on to the weight. Oh, I think I did that wrong. That's all right. We'll keep the weight on this side. It's easier. One, it was not my intention. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Next exercise uppercuts. <clears throat> Again, I'm going to do my uppercuts with a nice lightweight uppercut. It's this phase of the move. You start the move, elbows at your side, bam, bam. We're punching someone else's chin, okay? Palms facing in. This is gonna be followed by single arm bicep curl. And again, if you can do this with a little heavier weight, and we're trying to keep everything level as we do this. You're gonna to wanna to crank over as you're doing this. That is what we are using our abs and our glutes to fight against, okay? Uppercuts for one minute, 15 reps of bicep curls, one side and then another. On your mark, get set. Let's go with uppercuts. <clears throat> Again, I like to do this in a staggered stance because that's how we box. And it's also a more stable standing position. If you are not holding on to any weights, I want you to be going super fast. I also want to make sure this is different than the runner's arms. The runner's arms were all about pulling back. This is all about 
knuckles up. Tummy's nice and tight. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds, go faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Right into bicep curls. <clears throat> tighten up the tummy, tighten up the glutes for one, two. Let the arms go straight. Three, four. This weight's too heavy for me. <laughs> Five, six, this one's too light, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, arm goes straight at the bottom of the move, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, feeling that, other side, one, two, three, four, Five, six, fire up your glutes. Seven, to keep you level. Eight, nine, 10, no swinging the weight. <clears throat> 11, <clears throat> 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice job. I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water. Feel free to do the same. All right, we're just gonna repeat <coughs> the same series of exercises. <coughs> Starting with the power squats to toes, <coughs> or balls of your feet, followed by the curtsy squat. On your mark, get set, let's go. This second set is gonna be so much harder. And if you need to make it harder, turn this into a squat jump. If you need to make this easier, get on the wall while you do it. Lean against the wall. Chest is up, eyes are up, knees are always behind the toe. My knees go a little bit wide as I go down into the squat. Halfway there. Fifteen seconds to go. Let's pump out a bunch of these. Woo! Oh man! <laughs> Five more seconds. Time. Okay. Curtsy squats. Fifteen on one side. Fifteen on the other. Here we go. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're not rushing these. Eleven. Four matters. Twelve. 13, 14, 15. Remember, if you don't like doing these, good old reverse lunge works. Other side, here we go. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, Six, knee is still behind the toe. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Runner's arms. With or without weight, one minute here. And remember, 
we're pulling the elbows back. Yes, there is some follow through, not to be confused with uppercuts. Palms are facing in towards your body. On your mark, get set, let's go. Let's go, let's run. Tummy's tight, glutes are tight, trying to keep everything still, except those arms. There's a little bit of motion that's gonna happen. Try and, try and control it. If you are not holding on to weights, I hope your arms are flying twice as fast as mine. We're at the halfway point. Remember, we're doing this for cardio. Do it fast enough. You feel your body working. Fifteen seconds to go. And time. Nice. Single arm row. We're gonna hinge over. 15 on one side, 15 on the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 13, 14, 15, switch sides. Sorry, trying to put my phone on airplane mode. Let's get going here, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Toe taps. We're gonna be here for a minute. On your mark, get set, let's go. Toe taps. Nice soft landing on the balls of your feet as you do this. Bring those knees up. And again, try and lift your eyes if you can so that you're looking, just using your peripheral vision track of your target. Lightly tapping it. Three seconds to go here. Remember, you can do this in a walk. The hopping doesn't agree with you. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job. Split squat with that static overhead hold. This time, I want the weight up in the air with the foot that is back. Bigger balance challenge. Here we go. One, two, three. You're going as low, four, as your knee allows, five, and your flexibility, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh. Oh, the static hold is almost worse than the squat. All right, bicep is right next to your ear. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, glad that one's over. All right, we're gonna do high speed uppercuts with or without weight, followed by a single arm bicep curl, and we'll get a little breather after we finish those two uppercuts. Here we go. In a staggered stance, palms are facing in. My tushy is tight. My tummy is tight. I'm trying to keep this work in my arms. Not a lot of twisting or movement in my torso, trying to control that. If you don't have weights, I want you going super fast. If you have weights, go as quick as you can with control. We're past the halfway point. Fifteen seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, nicely done. Single arm bicep curl. No rest. We're going right into it. Elbows glued to your side. Tummy's tight. Here we go. One, two. Arm goes all the way to straight. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Keep the rest of your body still. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And again, I have my tushy fired up and my abs fired up. One, help keep me stable. Two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Nice job. All right, get a quick drink of water and we're gonna be on the floor for the next round of exercises. Um, we are going to be doing some strength work there, so you are going to need bice uh, biceps. You will need your biceps, but in addition to bringing your biceps, how about some weights? Uh, start our pullovers, chest presses, and we're going to do bird dog with a little bit of weight. So what that means is you're probably going to want your heavy weights and some light ones down there. <clears throat> All right. Get a drink of water. And because we're just doing one side at a time, if you care, you're only going to need one of each weight. You don't need uh, two of them. All right. Same exact um, format. First exercise is going to be done for one minute. Second exercise is done for 15 reps. Uh, so if we bird dog, I think we're going to be doing that for 10 because that'll just suck up all of our time. First exercise is a plank. Here we are doing our plank. Bird dog. You're going to have one weight. We're gonna do one side at a time. Knees are right over um, your hips, hands are right under your shoulders. You're gonna lift and hover, and then you're gonna reach out with that weight in your hand and back down. 10 on this side, 10 on the other. If um, being on your knees does not agree with you, I want you to get on your back, and I want you to do dead bug, okay? It's not the same move, but uh, I think that's gonna be a good, um, uh, substitution. Okay, boy, that was hard for me to find that word. All right, one minute planks on your mark, get set, let's go. 
Tuck in that tailbone. Make sure your elbows are underneath your shoulders. Eyes are looking straight down at the mat. Now you're gonna start focusing on that breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Keep the tush in the back uh, slightly elevated. If you start feeling it in your back, lift up a little bit. Halfway there. Oh, these are so easy compared to those plank jacks we did last week. Think about elongating, lengthening out through your head, through your heels. 15 seconds to go. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right, bird dog. This is the one exception. We're going to do 10 on one side. I'm going to fold this mat in half. I do find this a little bit much on my knees. Get yourself in position. We're going to lift and hover and go out for one with a little pause. Two, shoulders are level with the ground, pelvis is level with the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Other side. Same exact move. We're going to lift and hover. Opposite arm and leg. Reach it out for one. Eyes stay looking down at the mat the whole time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, next one. On your back, we're going to do bicycles for a minute, pulled by the straight arm. Oh, you know what? We are running a little short on time. All right, let's. Um, Let's do mini crunches next. No, let's do marching bridges next for one minute, followed by straight arm pullover. So marching bridges, you get up into your bridge and then you march it. We're gonna be up here for a minute. If your tushy gets too tired, take a break, come on down, try, try to get started again. Straight arm pullover. <clears throat> Uh, one arm, weights right over your chest, take it over your head, pull it back. It's much harder with one arm than with two. All right, um, marching bridges, one minute here, on your mark, get set, up into the bridge, let's go. As you can see, I'm not doing this at a blistering pace because I want to be able to do it for the entire minute. If you have a lot of energy, do it faster. Just make sure you're keeping that bridge up. You're not dipping down as your legs move. We're at the halfway point. Keep it going. Ten seconds to go here. Time. All right, let's grab our weight. I'm going to go a little bit lighter. Fifteen on one side, fifteen on the other. 
Start with the weight right over your chest. Take it overhead for one. Two, tighten your tummy as you take the weight overhead. Three, four, five, six. Low back is pushed into the mat. Here comes eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Other side, same move. Take it overhead for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Focus on that low back. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Here's where it's really important for your abs to help out. Fourteen, 15, nice job. All right, we are going to repeat these three exercises, starting with everybody's favorite, the plank. One minute here, on your mark, get set, whoops. Go. Get yourself up in that comfortable position. Hands are relaxed, elbows are right underneath your shoulders. Eyes are looking straight down at the mat. You don't need to be looking at your feet and you don't need to look out in front of you, just straight down. Now, a nice relaxed breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Remember what we're fighting against is a saggy back. Do not let your back sag. If you can't maintain the plank, go to your knees. 20 seconds to go here. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Nice. All right, third dog. Ten on one side, ten on the other. I really want you to focus on um, keeping everything level with the ground. No rotation as you do this. And you can. I'm lightening up on my weight. <clears throat> you can go with a real light weight uh, to make it easier and to help keep your pelvis and your shoulders staying level. All right, we're gonna lift and hover, and then extend out for one, two, three, four. Give yourself a chance to get set before you extend out. Five, set, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. These are hard to do right after doing planks because you're using a really similar set of muscles. Other side, here we go. Lift and hover, extend out. One, two, eyes looking straight down at the mat. Three. Four, five, remember bird, or uh, six, dead bug is the alternative move. Seven, eight, nine, ten, excellent. Okay. Uh, Bridges and pullovers. Marching bridges for one minute. <clears throat> On your mark, get set. 
Up you go and march it. Up here for an entire minute. Keep those legs moving the whole time. If this exercise doesn't agree with you, feel free to do bicycles or bridges. Just keep your body moving for the whole minute. And remember, this is the cardio element, so I want you moving quick enough that you get your heart rate slightly elevated. Nothing crazy. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Straight arm left pull over. Tighten up the tummy. Take the weight overhead. Doing fifteen of these. Here's one. Two, you're going as far overhead, three, as your flexibility for allows. I want you to be able to control the weight the whole time. Five, six, seven. It does not need to touch the ground overhead. Eight, nine, ten. 11, focus on those abs. 12, low back is still touching the mat. 13, 14, 15. Other side, same thing, tummy's nice and tight. Take the weight overhead for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Nice job. We're going to finish off with 20 mini crunches and then we will stretch. Get these things out of my way. Last exercise we're doing before stretching. Set that back so that it's touching the mat. Arms, uh, hands are cradling your head. And if we go for one, nice and slow. Two, three, we're only doing one set. Four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. All right, let's get into the stretching. Actually, grab some water. And then we will get right into stretching. Um, since we're grabbing water, let's start stretching uh, standing up and we'll finish on the mat, just so that we do it a little differently. All right, I'm gonna start up with my calves. And you, know, you can do it pushing against the wall. If you don't have a wall, you can just be right here that back heel is flat on the floor, press your hips forward, feel a nice big stretch um, in your calf. We're holding it here for 20 seconds. As you feel a little release, go a little deeper. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Make sure that back knee is straight. And we're here for five, four, Three, two, one. Other leg. 
This one I'm gonna do against the wall because I just find I can go a lot deeper and press those hips forward. Eyes are looking straight ahead. For five, four, three, two, one. Uh, let's do the hamstring stretch. And if you've got something handy, like a chair or a coffee table or a couch, um, uh, you can do it standing. I, I do kind of like to have something for support. I'm going to hinge at the hip. My leg is straight. My foot is flexed. And I am just dropping my chest towards my knee, keeping my back nice and straight. This is exactly the same stretch as the hamstring stretch that we do on the, uh, on the mat. It's just, you know, good to have some variety. The one thing I don't like about this stretch is if, if it's such a balanced challenge that you can't really get the full benefit of the stretch that the whole time it's, it's hop, you're hopping around thinking about your balance and not stretching right here. Let's come on out of that. Other side, same move, get the leg up, the foot is flexed, nice and straight, hinging here at the hip, dropping the chest. Now, generally, I'm trying to hold these stretches 20 to 30 seconds. After the class, if you want to go through and do it a second time, you'll find you'll get more benefit out of it. It's just, it's, um, it's, a, it's a time issue if we do two sets of everything. And we're here for five, four, three, two, one. Next stretch, let's, uh, let's stretch our quad. Grab your shoe or the back of your shoe, pull that knee back. Keep your eyes up, keep your chest up. Five, four, three, two, one. Shake it off. Other side. Same thing. Get yourself in position. Knee is in line with the hip. Take it back. Eyes looking straight ahead. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's do a little bit of work on our upper body, clasping those hands behind our back, taking the hands up just as high as you can. I want you to feel this stretch in your chest and primarily you're gonna feel the front part of your shoulders. And they got a lot of work today with our running arms and our uppercuts. We're here for five, four, Three, two, one, shake it off. Tricep stretch, elbow pointing to the ceiling. And we just have another minute here. Couple more seconds. Let's release the stretch, other side. All right, let's do some nice deep cleansing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, reaching up as we go. And blow it out. Two more. Last one, here we go. And exhale. Let me say a quick hello. Again, I'm sorry how goofy it was in the beginning of class. There was just some kind of technical difficulty. Hi, Alice. Thank you for your, for your text. I'm glad to see you today. Anita, Arlette, Denny, Della Rosa, Ellen, Eddie, Jim, Julie, Kathy, Kathy, Leah, Liza, Louise, Marcy, Marta, Michelle, Palou, Pat, Rochelle, Sally, Tanya, Toby, Wendy. Um, it's great to see all of your very familiar names, and I hope to see you on Thursday. Bye-bye.